In this section I'm going to save an AutoCAD drawing as a background drawing for my EPA net and bring it into the EPA net model and scale it. Here you can see I have an AutoCAD drawing and this is my survey data showing the alignment of my proposed water main and I'm going to use it as a WMF file or Windows Meta file uh, and import it into EPA net. Uh, to do that I select the lines I want to export as a WMF file and then I go to file and export export to other formats and I choose uh, meta file option in the drop down menu here uh, make sure I'm saving this in the correct folder and it wants to be in the same folder that your EPA net model is you can see I've saved a few others here earlier I'm going to just call this uh, simply background on and save that it's now been exported to that folder let's go and check on that and there it is background one WMF I'm going to open up my EPA net model here and using the view uh, well, well let me just pause there for one second notice here that the auto length is off that needs to be on I'm going to right click that and auto length on uh, and going back to my view, backdrop, load, and it automatically looks inside of the folder that the model is in uh, for a background map. I'm going to choose the one I just created and open, and we see the background map as a WMF appears there. I'm going to zoom into it a little bit. If I had chosen a background map that was a JPEG or a bitmap, as I as I zoomed in here, it would become fuzzy and the lines would become thicker. That the advantage of using the WMF is it's similar to AutoCAD in that the lines remain sharp and clear and don't fuzz out as you zoom in. Uh, I'm going to check what kind of scale I have right now uh, on this drawing, and I'm going to to do that. I'm going to draw a pipe length. Here's an add pipe. Well, actually, I have to put a couple of nodes in there, um, which I need to zoom in a little closer. I'm going to put a couple of nodes and then string a pipe between them. To do that, I like to get in as closely as possible without losing where I'm at. And I'll place a node. There. And zoom out, place another node. other side as accurately as possible string a pipe between the two nodes and because we've got our auto length on I should be able to select that pipe and it will tell me its length. It's telling me its length is 998.11 feet this is a 500 feet diameter circle so that gives us a ratio of how much we are off by and what, what uh, scale ratio needs to be made. So to do that let's bring up a calculator and we're going to divide the actual what should be the length of that line which is 500 and we're going to divide that by the found length 998.11 and this is our scale ratio we need to write that down 0 0.50094 I'm going to round that down to 7 that should be accurate enough get out of that calculator there and next
next step I'm going to go to view dimensions uh, default coordinates uh, 0 0 and 10,000 uh, multiply the upper coordinates by our our scale factor so 10,000 the X and the Y, so 5009.47. Zero, zero, in there. across and let's see what length we have this time and the pipe length is 499.97 which is close enough to 500 feet uh, for accuracy let's do a save on our model and from this point on we can simply draw over our pipe alignment uh, it is to scale now and ensuring the auto length option on down in the lower left hand corner and that way we will we'll have a scaled EPA net model automatically putting in the correct pipe lengths and the alignment of the pipe to do our modeling. <laughs> 